Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this channel, we're on road to 3,000 trophies. Currently, we're at 1294. We dropped a lot, but we're trying to win here. So, looks like uh, they're playing Queen's Gambit, I think. I'm not really that good with openings yet, but I'm I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay, now um, he took control of the center, so... We need to defend that pawn on c4, and he's taken it, so never mind. Um, we're gonna just open our pieces up. Going a pawn down already isn't that ideal, but we'll see, we, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully, we can do uh, better. We're gonna play knight to d7 to defend that pawn. As you can see, we're trying to castle queen side. and get our knight to a strong position. I'm most probably gonna take now, yeah, I'm gonna take. Assuming it's all about getting a strong position and attacking well, so I'm going to attack that dark squared bishop of theirs and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, he's pushing us now. Um... Hmm. We're going to play that. Avoiding the push temporarily. And then we're going to push for that bishop. And he plays that, but no worries. We're going to take. He takes. So we're going to start bringing our rook up. Um, why did he play that? Um, I feel like he played that to get a stronger position of his knight. And of course to check our king. But I don't really get what a check would do. It wouldn't do so much help, would it? In any case, we're just going to move our king here. Now we can attack that bishop. He hasn't yet made a mistake. 
I guess, but um, we can believe that. We can push that pawn further. I like how we're attacking in this game so far. But we need to do more. What we can do is, um, if we play one in front, that wouldn't really do us that much good. So in fact, we're going to um, move the knight here, and then move it to f4 soon. I feel like I can, I can move it right now, yeah. Um, so can we take with our knight? Hmm. I think we should take with our knight. Yeah, let's go with that. Should I? Yeah. Let's take with our knight. He obviously moves his king to a safer square. Retrieve the knight. So we're going to take with the idea. Okay, he takes with. Queen to g5. This would be a pretty hard checkmate to stop. Never mind. Is it a never mind? Hmm. Um, I feel like it would be a never mind, but we can play this. Rook to g8. This surely has to be checkmate in like a few moves, right? Not yet. What? The double bishop pair is really doing really well right now. So, you know what we do? Add more pressure. We bring in our white, our light squared bishop. That surely has to win us the game. I really love the way we're attacking in this game. We're pushing our opponent so much. White's king is literally on the corner of the board. Okay, so now we can either get a fixed fork or by playing um, bishop to g4, or we can risk it. No, you know what? We have to play this. If we play it to 
h3. Nothing would really happen because the queen is there to defend that bishop. We're going to check him. And then we're going to take. So he still takes, but that shouldn't be an issue, should it? I don't think so. Um, What can we play? We don't have that much time left as well. We're gonna take his pawn, it was a free pawn. No attacking that pawn as well. The pawn on B2. There's no way he can play right. Yeah, that's that's a good move. That's a good move. We don't have that much time, but that's a good move. That defends that pawn on b6 as well as attacks that king. I mean, attacks the queen, sorry. He still manages to find a move. Um... How did I not see that? How did I not see that before? Holy. And we win. We finally again get back to 13 or 1 rating. So happy with that game. I honestly don't know how I didn't stake that before. The queen before. I missed that. But I, I saw it and luckily he didn't see it. So he didn't move it in time. But finally we get a win. Accuracy is... 46.9 terrible accuracy but you know what as long as we win if this is that one game we win so it's it's fine two blunders from us four blunders from them but we had five great moves five great moves they had zero great moves i think that's where we won the game our opponents played pretty well just made a few mistakes but it finally feels good to win a game today after losing two back to back. How did I not see that? Let's see. Um. Yeah, I didn't see that earlier. Well, at least I eventually saw it and we won the game. So we're at 13.01 raising now. Finally, feels so good to win a game today after losing two. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs>